sense to you, Mr. Allen?
when you, 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 you say you never met a DPP between last year in December up to today. First, so I what I'm trying and, to and according to this anti-Navy, which you saw on the 10th. It was, it was after the 10th, man. After? It was definitely after the 10th. When exactly after the 10th? That's critical. It, it could have been the 11th, my lord. If you on saw it on the 11th, then clearly in this affidavit, Mr. Abrams, the DPP told me that you are out of the game. So, my understanding... I don't understand then why you are here. Because you told me, by the 11th, you know that you are no more the prosecutor. You don't care who is the lead prosecutor, but you know that you are no more the prosecutor because... You are engaged, you are doubly booked, which is a, an offense in this court in terms of the Supreme Court as well. Well, my lord, I was not doubly booked. Um, I, I, I'd informed his lordship that I would not be available, and your lordship indicated to me that I must speak. He said, what about, what about Ms. Nku, and what about Mr. Le Petit? And, then and what I, did you say? I said, to, I said to his lordship, I will discuss the matter with the DPP. Which did you is, discuss the matter with the DPP? That's exactly what I did, my lord. And on the very day when we walked out of court, that you are not available, the other council will be on board. The DPP asked me to establish. No, what did you tell her before she asked you? She cannot just ask. You went to that office. I, I said to the DPP. Yes. I said to the DPP. I regrettably will not be available. On yes. The on, on the dates. Yes. That's you told her on the 13th. That's what I said to the DPP. Yes. Yeah. You only meet today. That's the last time you discussed that I'm not available. But today you meet and then you are rebriefed. You say you are appearing on the instructions of the DPP. My Lord, I'm trying to explain to His Lordship. My understanding from the DPP was they should have liked me to come on board and assist in this matter and even lead the matter um, um, as the trial progressed. Did she and tell we, you that Ms. Nkuru was the lead prosecutor? At no stage was I informed that Ms. Nkuru was the lead prosecutor. Ms. Nkuru is the lead prosecutor now. She even got the, the, the docket for the first time since 2018. That's, that's Last impossible. week. That's impossible. No, she, that's what she told me. You can't, you can't, you can't contradict that. Well, Ms. Nkuru... No, I'm, I'm telling you what is, what, what is on record now. I understand. And the docket came when she was here. It was brought to her when she was here. Because you kept, you kept it between yourself and the DPP. Every time you went to South Africa, I'm informed, you don't leave the, the document with the missing, you give it to the DPP. Let me explain, uh, with his Lordship's leave. No, I'm saying it has already, it's already on record. What I mean with the inquiry now is in terms of section 124 B and C. Yes. Of the Speedy Court Trials Act, because I have to add, but, but if someone told me a lie under oath, that lie caused a postponement. I have to add. That's the, the, the inquiry that I'm on about now. Yes. So I want to know then, in effect, you are saying the DPP perhaps is the one who lied under oath. It's not you. You didn't mislead her to, to lie before me. That's what you are telling me, isn't it? That whatever is untrue here. You are not the source of that truth. Right? I, I'm not the source of that. Yeah. yeah. If it's Maybe some other person is the source. Or she is the source, isn't it? And make the, the necessary inference. But you are definitely saying you didn't mislead her. I did not. You didn't mislead her. I did not. But I did be prudent to rectify the position around the docket that his lordship had raised. No, no, I'm just, just an aside to that one. Because I just wanted to tell you what has transcribed. And it makes sense because she only got the docket missing when she was already here, and I was minded to dismiss this matter for want of prosecution. But, but That's why the Crown apparently panicked and then said, well, there is a docket now. Please proceed. If I hadn't said I was going to dismiss it for want of prosecution, it should not be, the, should not be even having the docket now. In any event, you know that King's Council was briefed, isn't it? I believe so. You don't believe so. They, those are the documents. In other words, Natali, you communicated with Mr. Natali. In what capacity were you communicating with Mr. Natali? Well, we were communicating with each other, my lord. In what capacity? 